Hello, welcome back. We started off with binary and I explained to us what number basis is all about and the binary number system, okay? Now, let me just give us a brief hint. Whenever you hear binary number, it simply means a number in base 2, okay? Whenever you hear binary number, it simply means a number in base 2, okay? And the number in this term is called a denary. The number in this term is called a denary. And the number in these two is called a binary, okay? Now, in this episode, we'll be looking at how to convert a denary to a binary, or a base 10 to a base 2 number, and a base 2 number to a base 10 number, or a binary number to a denary number, okay? It's very simple and amazing. On the board, I have an example that will be tricking. Say, convert the following numbers in base 10 to base 2. Okay? Convert the following numbers in base 10 to base 2. The first one, I have 14. 14 base 10 to base 2. This is how to go about this. Okay? Now, put your 14 your 14 here and draw a straight line, okay? Now, since we are converting to this 2, we divide all through by what? 2. So, the first one is 2. 2 in 14 is 7. Is there any remainder? No, our remainder is 0. The next one is 2. 2 in 7 is 3. Is there a remainder? Yes, the remainder is 1. 2 in 3 is 1. Is there a remainder? Yes, the remainder is 1. 2 in 1 is 0, is there a remainder? Yes, the remainder is 1. Okay? Let me go back to again. Converting from this 10 to this 2, you put your 14, you divide all through by 2, okay? And write out the remainders because we are converting to this 2. So 2 divided by 14 divided by 2 will give us 7. Is there any remainder? No, the remainder is 0. 2 in 7 will be 3 times, the remainder will be 1, okay? So 2 in 3 will be 1 times, the remainder will be 1. 2 in 1, which will be 0 times, okay? The remainder is what? 1. So let's take it like this, so you understand it. So just that the remainder. So now write out the remainder from the last one to the up one. From down to top. So it's going to be what? 1, 1, 1, 0, this, 2. Therefore, 14, this, 10 is equal to 1, 1, 1, 0, this, 2. Very simple. So 14 base 10 is what? 1, 1, 1, 0, base 2. Please always write from bottom to top, not top to bottom, okay? Let's try another example. We have what? 27 base 10 to binary. 27 base 10 to binary of this 2, rather. So we have what? 27. Divide all through by 2. 2 in 27, we have 1 here. 2 in 7, we have 3. Remainder what? 1. Okay? Then for the next one, we use 2 again. 2 in 13 is what? 6. Remainder what? 1. Use 2 again. 2 here is 3. Remainder 0. Use 2 again. 2 here is what? 1, remainder what? 1. 2 here is what? 0, remainder 1. Okay? So let's go from bottom to top. It's going to be 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2. Therefore, 27 base 10 is equal to 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2. Is it not simple? Now, when converting to base 2, always divide by what? 2. So, 2 in 27 will give us 13 times remainder 1. 2 in 13 will give us 6 times remainder 1. 
2 in 6 will give us 3 times the remainder of 0, 2 in 3 will give us 1 times the remainder of 1, then 2 in 1 will give us 0 times the remainder of 1. Very simple. Now let's try the last example and see what we get. 33 base 10 to base 2. So write down your 33 and let's divide by 2. 2 in 33, this will give us 1, 6, remainder what? 1. Are we following? 2 in 16 will give us what? 8, remainder 0. 2 in 8 will give us what? 4, remainder 0. 2 in 4 will give us what? 2, remainder 0. 2 in 2 will give us what? 1 remainder 0, then 2 in 1 will give us what? 0 remainder 1. Okay? So which is equal to what? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is 2. Therefore, 33 base 10 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is 2. Very simple. Okay? So, anytime you ask to convert from this 10 to this 2, just divide this 10 number by 2, write down a remainder, and write your remainder down from bottom to top to give you your answer in what? In this 2. To give you your answer what? In this 2. Now, let's convert from this 10, sorry, from this 2. To this 10. Let's convert from this 2 to this 10. Here we converted from this 10 to this 2. Now let's convert from this 2 to this 10. And see how simple that one also looks like. Combine the following numbers in this 2 to this 10. We have what? A. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 is 2. B. We have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, this 2. Solution. Now, I want to convert. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, base 2 to base 10, and 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, base 2 to base 10. Let's see how this one goes. The first one, we have 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, base 2 to 10. Now, we're going to be using the place value method to solve this, okay? We're going to be using the place value method to solve this. Something like using place value method, using place value, something like 2 raised to the power of 6, what we did earlier, 2 raised to the power of 5, 2 raised to the power of 4, 2 raised to the power of 3, 2 raised to the power of 2, 2 raised to the power of 1, and 2 raised to the power of 0. This is what we're going to be using to solve, okay? Now for this first one, we have what? 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay? This one is going to be what? Start from 0 to power 0. This one is going to be 0 to power 0, 0 to power 1, 0 to power 2, 0 to power 3, and 0 to the power 4. This is how this one is going to be. So it's going to be this, this one here, this one here is going to be 2 raised to the power of 4, this one here is going to be 2 raised to the power of 3, this one here is going to be 2 raised to the power of 2, this here is going to be 2 raised to the power of 1, this one is going to be 2 raised to the power of 0, okay? This is the place value method we will be using in solving these questions. Now let's see how it works. 
We already treated it previously when I was showing the expanded version. That was simply converting to this thing. But let's treat it now before you can see how it works.